Hey there guys, Malik here bringing some Dynasty Warriors 8 Extreme Legends Complete Edition gameplay. Today we're going to be playing right at Yu Lu Yang, but this is so we can get Sumi's 6 star weapon. I don't know what it is or what it looks like, I haven't looked it up personally, but I am a fan of the gen, so let's do this. Let's start off with this. Anyways, um... I'm kind of back with making videos. I don't know why I'm saying kind of is because um, what's it called? I only have my PS4 back as right now. I don't have my PS3 back and I don't have my Wii U back. So the only thing I can actually make videos on right now is the PS4, which is a little, eh, but it still is better than having nothing. And since I've mainly been doing videos on Extreme Legends, I guess that's okay. But I really want to continue with um the Bayonetta and Final Fantasy 13. Because, um, those, I really enjoyed those, um, games and making videos of them. Now I realized I did have a problem with some of my, um, other videos with uploading them. Dang, these arrows are so annoying. But, um, oh, I forgot about that new EX. Amazing. But, um, it's a r I'm having a real good time just being back as of right now, just making the video. Um, what else is there to say? Um, what else is there? Um, what should I say right now? I'm a little speechless. Oh, um, there, there has been a new DLC weapon that came out on Dynasty Warriors 8. It is the Dragon Bench um, DLC. So if anyone's interested in um, checking that out, you can um, purchase it on the store for $1.99. It's a real, it's real fun. Oh, I'm doing no damage to that guy. It's a real fun DLC. But um, what's it called? It's a little weird. Um, because there's counter moves, but the counter moves are basically just like, or they look like a powered up version of the um, ending like strong attacks and I'll I'll make a video on that in a little bit but I'll probably make it like right after I make this video because it's a really cool DLC weapon and um, I had a lot of fun playing it playing well using it exactly but um I don't know how some people would think about it <laughs> my favorite um, move on it is like the last um, strong attack because you just like sit someone on the bench and just smack them around and kick them off. They're like, what the fuck are you doing on my bench, bro? But it's, it's a nice DLC. I'm, I like, I kind of do like the DLC weapons for this game. I mean, like some are okay, but um, the XL DLC weapons are fun. And I really hope that um, in Extreme, I mean, uh, Empires, that they you can use them as what's it called? Yeah, that you can use them and um as a EX weapon. I was like slipping them top of my head. I was trying to think of what it was. <laughs> because think of how awesome that would be if you can have a EX weapon as it like it, one of those DLC weapons as an EX like the Dragon Bench. I know some people really like the Dragon Bench DLC, so imagine having that as a EX weapon. And think of what like type of attack you can possibly do with that. That would be amazing, and I know people do want that or are looking forward to that. And I really hope they do do that because um I don't know if they did that with um other DLC weapons in the other game. I know with um they have made some DLC weapons actual weapons for characters. Um like uh the Thunderblade. I forget the name of it, but um. Is now Suma um, Shur's weapon, which is I liked it when I was playing it, using it on um, in Dynasty Warrior 7, and then I found out it was like his new weapon of choice. I'm like, oh snap! So it's nice to see that actually some DLC weapons are chosen for um characters. It gives me, so, and um, the pictures actually when I saw them for the Dragon Bench, it shows um. Lu Shan using them, and I thought that was a little weird. But I said, okay. I mean, I didn't really see Lu Shan using that type of weapon. But if they see it, they see it like that. I personally 
and like um, I don't know which who the dragon bitch will go for because um from the looks of it the dragon bench at its five star looks like it could be like a woo weapon but the, at the, um oh did I defeat the um oh yeah I did and um at a six star weapon though it looks like it could be more of a woo type weapon so it's like shu and then woo but it does look like a, it is a pretty cool DLC weapon um I'll get to making that in a little bit oh and for anyone who wants to know um Hyrule Warriors comes out today, I believe, in Japan. Um, so if anyone is interested in like checking that out, people are gonna probably start uploading videos on it. But I'm pretty um, sure everyone here knows um, that it's already out in Japan and all that, because there are some people who watch real closely to the um, Japan Japanese stores on like um, consoles and stuff. I wonder if I'm gonna get this um, weapon. But um, it's a really, I really am looking forward to that game. I'm looking forward to a lot of games, um, a lot of games coming out this some um, year. One of them being um, Hyrule Warriors. Another being um, well, I'm trying to think if I should get uh, Warriors Wiki 3 or not. I'm still deciding on that one personally. Um, there's uh, what's it called? Samurai Warriors 4, and I just didn't get the normal edition of Samurai Warriors 4. I got like the anniversary edition, or also known as the um, anime edition, the one where it comes with its own anime. But um, it really, I like how it looks. Um, the anime that they made for it. It's not as crazy as Sengoku, <laughs> but it does look like it has its moments of um good um storyline but I don't think it's in English that's the sad part but I can deal with that I mean if you only sit here and watch English um English like dubs or something I'm gonna wait a while or never like get anything at all so it's not that bad damn that my frame rate just dropped like hell right there I'm not sure what that was all about. Father, it is nice to see you doing so well. Um, in I've been playing um with my friends a little bit more intensely on um. Well, my friends in general, and um, we've been like talking about like what I should do in my channel, and <laughs> some of them, what one of them said I should do a Lou Love impersonation voice because um. And I made a Lou Love account because of um, a video. Ooh, a demon beard. That sounds amazing. But I made a Lou Love account because of uh, a live stream by Jers. And I, and when he uploaded it on YouTube, I had to take the chance and um, make the actual YouTube account before anyone else did because I felt like someone would. So I took it. And I kind of made my own thing. My friend told me that I should be like in some of my videos. I should act like Lou Love, and um, just go from there and see what happens. I said that's not a bad idea, but uh, whatever. I don't know about the Lou Love thing. It's a little weird. I mean, I would have to like put on my best voice and actually have to like try. Like, I would actually have to act to try to be Lou Love. Now, I don't have a problem with, like, doing that, but I just feel like it's a little bit more work than I should put in. If you know what I'm talking about. Alright. Now that part's open. Let's continue forth. I believe, yeah, this is, I already got the treasure weapon. What am I talking about? I'm, like, saying to myself, I think this is on hard mode. I'm not sure, though. Yeah, but the, um, start, in order to get the, um, weapon on this, you gotta... Make um Shahoba join you within eight minutes and then advance forth with him. But um if you fail, um well of course you fail and you don't get the six star. But um it is it's a fairly easy one. This is the first mission of the Gen Extreme Legend, so I wasn't really expecting anything that hard. 
I was kind of expecting to like catch Xiao Shuang before um Hua Chong comes up. I was kinda of expecting something like that. But no, nah, it's just um Oh snap, he's about to escape. Hua oh, Chong, what are you doing? Xia Chong. I was not expecting What are you doing? He's like right there near the exit. Oh and yeah, I still have the um costumes on by the way. I really like the costume choice I picked out because it's like um, Power Rangers versus the like, demon characters. Or like demons from like the Power Rangers, like those weird little demons. Not exactly. They're like the buffed up version of the demons and the Power Rangers are just looking like, uh... Yeah, we're here. It's a nice little thing. But yeah, we got Suma Yi 6 star weapon. We can leave the stage in 9 minutes. Huh, that's actually pretty fast. But like I said, this is the first weapon, uh, I mean, first Extreme Legend stage of Jin. So that's not really that big of a problem. So we're going to go back and check out the six star weapon in the gallery. Because I like to do that. That's my type of thing. The Demon Beard. I actually like, it kind of makes me think of um, the Red Hair. Slash, Survival, Spurt, um, Fury and awe. Oh, now let's check these um, out. Slash and inflict additional damage against an enemy, or even defeat them in a single blow. The lower your health, the more attack your goes, the more attack increases. If you defeat the enemies, will drop wing boots. Ooh, so speed up. Able to use a true Musu attack at any time, and your attacks may stun enemies. Pretty nice, pretty nice. I still kind of like the royal, the royal whip a little bit more, but. This will be a lot um, better in my personal opinion. I, I mean, like I like how it looks, but this one with the slash 10, and I don't think many weapons have slash 10 on them as a like start off. So I think this is a pretty good weapon in my personal opinion, especially especially since it's like Sumi Yi and the fact that a lot of his attacks are like mid range, as you could say. So, yeah. Well, anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. My name is Malik. Peace.